Hello friends. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about downstream processes. So after our fermentation is finished, so in our fermented growth, there is a our product. So for that, we are doing a purification. So this purification process is known as downstream processes. So for there are lots of processes including downstream, but for that which we choose it depends on the basis of the, our product and market value of our product. So which things are included in our product system. So first of all, the criteria which we choose for the downstream processes is following. So first is which is our product? It is an intracellular or extracellular. If our product is intracellular, then we go for the one extra step, which is a cell disruption. The second thing is product market value. The third thing is purity standards for our product. Third thing, the area which is used, use of product. For example, if the product is used as orally, then it must be a very, very hygienic or clean and sterile. The fifth thing is our product characteristic. That which is soluble, non soluble. So, there are the criteria for selecting the downstream processes. So, which steps are included in the downstream processes? So, here is our fermented growth. After here we have permanent growth, we just going for the our primary isolation. Before that we are doing the cell separation. And if our product is intracellular then cell disruption. Then primary isolation. After the primary isolation, we are going for the purification. And after that, a final isolation. So this is a technique for the downstream processes. So we are going to step by step. So the first step of downstream is separation. So in separation, we are separating our fermented growth and the cells present in the our growth. So there are lots of techniques to separate them. First is form separation. Second thing is filtration. The third thing is centrifugation. The fourth thing is precipitation. So in form separation, what we are doing? Here's we give the and in this function. So here the word door to them. So after giving the and high air and the agitation, the form is generated. This form is collected in the form collector, form breaker, form break, and our cells then cells remain in form and our product remain in growth. So in filtration, we are choosing a micro filter in which we are filtering the our, our growth. In centrifugation, the common phenomena is there. 
and in precipitation we are adding a chemical compound which precipitate the cells and after precipitation we are doing the centrifugation so precipitates and the our superintendent is differentiated so after separation if our product is intracellular then we are using the sec uh, another step is a cell disruption cell disruption can be done by two ways either physico mechanical or chemical in physical mechanical we are giving a physical stress by following methods liquid shear solid shear agitation with abrasive ultrasonication in chemical we are giving we are breaking the cell wall by the chemical pressure like osmotic pressure osmotic shock enzyme digestion and our alkali so giving the a dip, uh, difference in their ph lead to the cell disruption so after cell disruption we are extracting our product from the cell constituents by this is the first this is second now we are going for the third so in third we are separating the liquid liquid separation here what we are doing in the form in the broth which cell is disrupted our product and cell are there so what we are doing is it, the product is dissolved obviously so we are adding a solvent in which a product solubility is higher in solvent than the fermented broth so what happened the product is dissolved into the solvent now after it is extracted into the solvent so this is called a liquid liquid separation it is based on the partition coefficient so after it is extracted into the product into the solvent now next step will be the solvent extraction or solvent recovery so in solvent recovery what we do we adding a solvent a non solvent so we are knowing already that which solvent is there and what is the boiling point of solvent so what we are doing distillation process here we give a heat a uh, same temperature which is boiling temperature for the solvent so solvent is extracted now our product is in there so a fifth step will be the purification so in purification a uh, purification is done by two ways first is the chromatography techniques and second is the membrane filtration in chromatography we use various chromatography like ion exchange chromatography affinity chromatography hplc reverse phase chromatography gc and many more so in membrane filtration we are using a membrane filter which completely extract our product so after the purification is done the next step will be the Six step will be the drying. Now drying done by two ways or two systems. It is a drum dryer and next is a spray dryer. Spray dryer mostly used for the heat labile product. Now after the drying is done, the next step will be simple. It is a packaging so this is the all about the downstream processes so capital cost will be the higher in downstream processes 
Now what we're doing is first is the separation of cells by this method form separation, filtration, centrifugation, and precipitation. After the cell and growth is differentiated, if our product is intracellular, then we go for the cell disruption by two methods: physical mechanical and chemical. Physical mechanical have liquid shear, solid shear, agitation with abrasive and ultrasonic action. In chemical, osmotic pressure, enzymatic digestion of cell wall, and the alkyl is using after cell is disrupted we going for the liquid liquid extraction in which we add us some solvent in which a solubility of product in solvent is higher so it is extracted into the solvent and after that so solvent recovery is there so our product is remain this product is separated completely pure separated by the chromatography technique or membrane filtration and after a pure product is getting the drying is there we are ground dryer and the spray dryer and the packaging and the Sell my market is happening. So I hope you like the video. Share, share to your friends and stay connected with Travis Microbiology. Thank you.